The wait time in the emergency room at Mercy Health Muskegon can sometimes last for hours. Yeah, it's not getting better. The hospital says it's due to the length of stay of their patients already there. But the nurses union says it's due to something else, staffing shortages. Our Lauren Edwards joins us live with the latest tonight. Lauren. Yeah, Doug and Janice, this afternoon I got a chance to speak with a nurse, and this morning I watched the press conference that Muskegon Mercy Health behind me put on addressing those long ER times, and both groups agree, you know, that it shouldn't be long, and something needs to be, something needs to change with it all, but they both say it's, you know, due to different reasons. And I would say the, the most significant factor that we're seeing at this point um, is the strain on the hospital due to the length of the stay of our patients in the hospital. The ER wait times at Muskegon Mercy Health is problematic, says health officials there, and President Gary Allor believes it's due to a patient's length of stay. The typical patient is staying a little bit longer. That difference between um, a 3.8 day length of stay and a 4.5 day length of stay is the equivalent of about 35 beds every day. Mercy Health Muskegon hosted a virtual press conference Wednesday morning explaining the long wait times and the nursing shortage, citing some are becoming traveling nurses. So what's happened in the industry is there's more travel nursing going on. So hospitals are in essence ended up requiring to use travel nursing because we're losing some nurses to uh, travel agencies. Respiratory therapist Cindy Zienwick agrees that nurses are leaving the profession or becoming traveling nurses because of the better pay, but the long ER time, she says, is due to a staffing shortage. She says currently there's 500 positions open at Muskegon Mercy Health. It is nationwide a staffing shortage. Um, I know a lot of people are leaving healthcare just because they're burnt out, they're tired. They just can't do it anymore. And it's taking a toll on them emotionally, especially during the pandemic. When we walk in the employee door and there's a refrigerated truck out there for bodies, it's, it's the death and the suffering for the last 18 months has really taken a toll on not just our department, but everybody. She says the nurses union SEIU has been fighting for them to get crisis pay and other incentives, but people are still leaving, she says, and that will always impact how quickly a patient is seen. That's our number one priority is good patient care. But the way things are running right now, it's not happening. So Zingwood says, you know, also to the big thing is compensation. I got a chance to speak with the union president and she too says compensation is huge. They both say that without that, people are going to continue to leave and there will continue to be shortages, which they believe, again, is leading to longer just wait times in the ER rooms. Reporting live here in Muskegon, Lauren Edwards, Fox 17 News. Lauren, thank you.